In this video, we're going to change ratios to fractions. And um, obviously, one, if you're at this point where you're looking at this video, it means that you're already familiar with how ratio works. But let's make things nice and simple. So here's my example I'm going to work out. I've got a ratio of 3 to 4. Let's make it interesting. Let's say this is a class of students. And in the class of students, we've got three boys to every four girls. Okay, sorry about my terrible drawing. So what we're saying here is that if you look in the classroom, you're going to have three boys in there. Okay, so just pause while I draw the boys and girls. All right, so there I've got my pictures drawn. So I've got my three boys to every four girls. Now bear in mind that this could obviously increase. This is the ratio in its simplest form. This can increase to six boys to eight girls. It could, in, it, it could increase to, um, what's that, 12 to 16 and so on. So it can increase as much as you like, but we're just gonna stick to three to four for now. Now, if I need to represent this as a fraction, what I need to show is what fraction of all the students in this class are boys and what fraction are girls. Now, clearly you can see that we have got seven students here. There are three boys and there are four girls. So it means that the total students is seven. We can also get that seven by adding the three and four up here. Okay, so there are seven students there in total. And just like we did way back in primary school, if I've got seven students and three of them are boys, then it means that the boys would be three sevenths, and it means that the girls would be four sevenths. And just like that, we've changed the ratio of three to four to three sevenths to four sevenths like that. OK, so you can actually um, see how easy it is to change those. All right. So on the next page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, ask you to pause the video. See if you can have a go at these questions. If you want to, you can change them into boys and girls or apples and oranges. That's up to you. So just pause the video here and have a go at these questions. All right, so let's just have a quick look at them. So in total here, we have got four plus five, which is out of nine. So if it was boys and girls we were doing again, it would have been four ninths and five ninths like that. Or they can ask you for a specific one. What fraction are boys? Then it would just be four ninths. So this one down here. So you add the five and the eight, and that will give you 13. So you know it's out of 13. So therefore, it's 5 thirteenths and 8 thirteenths. This one down here. Add the 11 and 12, you're going to get 23. So 11 over 23, 12 over 23. Okay. And then last of all, add the 3 plus 2, gives you 5. So 3 fifths and 2 fifths. All right. And that's the end of this very quick video showing you how to change ratios to fractions.